The Garnet Research Project is investigating ways to make the design and implementation of graphical, highly interactive, direct manipulation user interfaces substantially easier. Like other user interface development environments, Garnet provides menus, scroll bars, and buttons. However, unlike other environments, Garnet supports the insides of application windows, which take most of the time to design and implement. Garnet uses Common Lisp and runs under X11. Garnet is an acronym and stands for Generating an Amalgam of Real-Time Novel Editors and Toolkits. Garnet is a comprehensive system and contains both a low-level toolkit and high-level interactive tools with innovations at every level. The Garnet toolkit contains an object system, constraints, new input and output models, and widgets. The object system uses a prototype instance model rather than the conventional class instance model used by Smalltalk and C++. In a prototype instance model, there are no classes, and any object can be a prototype for other objects. Changing a property in the prototype also changes all instances that do not override that property. An innovation in Garnet is the support for structural inheritance for groups of objects, which means that when objects are added or deleted from the prototype group, the same edits are applied to all instances of the group. Our approach makes it easy to interactively experiment with objects and see the results in context. Another innovation in Garnet is that properties of objects can be computed by constraints, which means that the value is updated automatically whenever anything it depends on changes. Constraints are commonly used to tie graphical objects together. For example, here the programmer only declared that the lines stay attached to the circles and the boxes stay the same size as the strings, and Garnet maintains this. Constraints can be arbitrary Lisp expressions, so they can be used to connect the graphics to applications, as well as for arbitrary application computations, such as calculating these arithmetic expressions. Garnet's output system uses a retained object model, sometimes called a structured graphics model. This means that there is an object in memory for every graphical object on the screen. When an object changes, Garnet automatically redraws the object and any other objects that are covering it. Also, Garnet refreshes windows when they are scrolled, become uncovered, or change size. Garnet's built-in layout routines automatically format objects in columns, rows, tables, trees, or connected graphs. Most of the per-object overhead can be eliminated when there are lots of similar objects, so Garnet can be used for maps and visualizations with thousands of objects. Garnet uses a novel input model where common direct manipulation behaviors are supplied as a small number of built-in interactor objects that can be attached to graphics. Each type handles a standard kind of behavior, such as selecting one or more of a set of objects, moving objects with the mouse, rotating objects using the mouse, or text editing. The text editing interactor provides full mouse-based multi-font editing, including a mode that supports Lisp code editing. The interactors are independent of the particular graphics used. Here, one interactor is used for all four scroll bars. Furthermore, interactors are parameterized so that they are very general. So one kind of interactor is used for buttons, palettes, menus, and even to select objects in a graphics editor. Unlike most systems, Garnet supports operations across multiple windows. A built-in interactor supports gesture recognition, so developers can easily experiment with advanced user interfaces. Garnet provides two complete widget sets, one of which has a standard motif look and feel. All of the widgets are implemented using Garnet objects, constraints, and interactors. This makes it easy for developers to create custom widgets. In addition, the toolkit provides built-in support for the insides of application windows. For example, the Selection Handles widget can be used by any graphical application to support selecting and manipulating objects. Other standard editor operations, including Cut, Copy, Paste, Duplicate, to Top and Bottom, group, open, save, print, etc. are provided in the library and can often be used without change. These make creating a graphical editor particularly easy. 
Garnet comes with many demos and example applications, including a complete drawing editor. There is also a complete set of debugging tools, including an interactive inspector that can view and edit the properties of objects. It will also trace when an object is modified and has views which show the object hierarchies and the dependencies of constraints. One of the most important innovations in Garnet is its interactive user interface construction tools. The ultimate goal is to allow all of the user interface to be created by drawing the graphics and demonstrating the interactive behaviors. The GILT interface builder can be used to create dialog boxes and menus. The designer can select widgets from a palette and place them in a window. The strings of the widgets can be edited in place and other properties can be set from property sheets. The designer can change the run mode to see how the dialog box will work when connected to an application. Jade is used when an application contains lots of dialog boxes or the dialog boxes need to be generated at runtime. Given a specification of its contents and the choice of a look and feel, Jade automatically creates a dialog box. Lapidary allows designers to create new graphical objects and their behaviors. The designer draws the graphics and then clicks on the icons in the constraint window, shown here on the right, to add constraints to the objects. The icons represent the most common constraints used in graphical applications. Next, behaviors can be attached to the graphics by filling in dialog boxes. There is a different dialog box for each type of interactor. Here, we demonstrate that when the end user clicks on a rectangle, it should turn yellow. Lapidary allows components of graphical applications or even entirely new widgets to be created without programming. When the constraints available in Lapidary are not sufficient, C32 can be used. C32 provides a spreadsheet interface to make the specification of complex constraints easier. Clicking on a spreadsheet cell or on a graphical object automatically inserts the proper reference into the constraint. Marquise allows the overall behavior of applications to be demonstrated. Here we want to create an interface with a green rubber band line as feedback when the mouse button is dragged and a red line should be drawn when the button is released. In train mode, shown by the T in the cursor, the designer demonstrates the end user's actions, such as pressing the mouse button and moving. The system displays iconic markers to show where the events occurred. In show mode, the designer uses standard editing commands such as drawing, deleting, and moving to demonstrate what the responses should be. For this behavior, we need to switch between train and show modes twice, once to demonstrate the green feedback while the mouse is moving, and once to demonstrate the final red line. For high-level behaviors, Marquise has built-in support for palettes. The designer can draw a set of objects and declare them to be a create palette, and then use these to control what objects are created when the button is pressed in the work window. Similarly, palettes to control colors and other properties can be demonstrated. The Garnet system is available by Anonymous FTP, and it works on almost any Lisp and X11 system. Garnet is being used by over 70 projects worldwide. Users have given Garnet great reviews, saying that they were able to implement the graphical parts of their system in a fraction of the time it would have taken using other tools. In the future, we hope to create versions of Garnet for the Macintosh and Microsoft Windows NT. We also plan to support computer-supported cooperative work, 3D, speech input, and end-user customization. In conclusion, the Garnet Research Project is exploring innovative toolkit organizations as well as high-level interactive demonstrational tools. In addition, Garnet is a practical user interface development environment that you can use today.